right in front of me here. Hey there, everybody. This is Astronomy Daily Live, and it is two hours UTC. You can call me Cosmic, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Come on in, friends, and join the ever-growing circle. Um, you know, I sort of see this as sort of a, you know, circle of friends around the world, right? Around the world, which, which, is, which is absolutely fabulous that, you know, this kind of technology uh, that we have now, uh, you know, greatly allows us to um, connect in this, in this uh, awesome, awesome way. So, uh, yeah, you know, call it a circle of friends, call it like a virtual porch, where we're just sort of sitting back, right, relaxing, and, um, you know, pretty much um, forgetting about everything else and just thinking about all things astronomy, uh, thinking back. about the universe. So, very cool. All right, so I'm going to start up my smartphone here so I can monitor the proceedings. Okay, that's going well. And in the panel again is Bobby. Hey there, Bobby. What is going on? Hey, and uh, there's Tom Van Scooter. I've been like uh, surfing around the short waves. Bobby is surfing the short waves and thinking astronomy at the same time. That That's a... Uh, that... That uh, is definitely a talent that I do not possess. I can, I can just sort of do one thing at a time, and that's it. So that's very awesome. That's very, very awesome. Yeah, really, really soon, uh, hopefully in the next week or two, um, I'll be getting a um, software-defined radio. Um, haven't really decided what one to get yet, but... Uh, it's 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 going to be great great fun. Um, now um, where I work, we've got um, a couple different kind of antennas. Um, he we've got a cone antenna, um, and we have a just a regular dipole um, vertical, um, and a couple others too. But that's at work here um, where I am. Um, I want to set up um, similar to what Jill has, and just just a you know um, what's that called a um, sloper, um, which I think is sloper just for HF, and then he's got mobile vertical for BHF UHF. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I uh, you know I'm I'm basically just going to string a wire, right? Um, now, should I string that east, west, or north, south? Um. Well, um. When you when you have like a like a random random wire, it usually doesn't matter and stuff. Okay. Now, if you're planning on getting one with a telly lip, or just now the way I would do it, if you're gonna get a wire with the alligator clip, is I will take the coax, one of the coax, like an RG six or and stuff. You cut the wire and you're supposed to center. You clip it on the you clip the long wire to the center wire and you and you be able to use your SDR as like a normal receiver. Yeah, cool. All right. Well anyway, that's that's a future thing and that's that's uh moving moving out of the astronomical realm. Although although I'm thinking I'm thinking that I might be able to actually use that antenna. Uh, as my first radio telescope too, so we'll we'll see, we'll see. Don't know about that that yet. So, come on in, everybody. I see. Uh, uh, I feel like I am like a like a airport and stuff. I I think um mm -mm. like no. Nope. I'm not. I'm not um, near anything. The only thing that I'm really near to, uh, and and I and I'm I'm really kind of interested in seeing. Mm -hmm what the noise is going to be like. I'm, I'm um, um, pretty close to a power plant. So uh, I'm kind of interested in seeing what kind of noise um, they generate. Um, but yeah. yeah, we'll see. 
Now, we'll where, see. where I'm at, um, I'm actually am close to like a non-commercial privatized airport, and I'm also by like a river and stuff, so I can usually get the Coast Guard activity. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, so uh, back to astronomy, and and you know, of course, the important things in life, like. Uh, a nice, a nice um, cup of joe here. So cheers. And I've got the uh, I've got the hydrogen hydroxide H H O H O two. Uh, so Uncle Bill's in the chat. Bob Dog, hey hey hey, Bob Dog, nice to see you there too. And guess what I got in the mail today? Guess what I got in the mail today? And that's sort of why I have my my scope sitting right here because today in the mail I got my uh, um, um, Badenoff mask ah. so here put my um, artwork right right in the middle of the hole there isn't that cool yeah <laughs> so there it is you know, now now you know everybody has expectations Right. Everybody has expectations. And one of the expectations that I had was that I thought that these things were going to be metal. Right. You know, I mean, uh, and it's not. It's plastic. Right. Here, watch. So, you know, they, they wanted 26 bucks for this piece of plastic and um, you know in terms of cost in terms of cost this thing is like pennies right I mean nothing at all so they're getting a good um, a margin out of that but what this um, bad enough mask will allow me to do is it will be uh, hopefully hopefully it will allow me to very very easily and rapidly focus this telescope so uh here i just i brought it over here because i just wanted to uh to show you how how this is going to mount on here so i will i've got this thing plugged in i'm gonna rotate it around here let's see i can do both axes at the same time that Yeah, can you like do that manually without the controls and stuff? No, no. This this is one of the the uh, two big sort of faults that I have here. I'm gonna just grab that thing out of there. Yeah, one of the two big faults with this scope is that. One it doesn't have a clutch, so the only way that I can move this thing is with power and with the paddle, right? So I can I can move it up, right? I can move it down. I can move it this way. And I can move it that way, right? So yeah, I just wanted to show you how this goes on. So of course the cover comes off. That. And here I'll uh, point this down so you can see the mirror in there. There it is. Oh, this way. See, that's that's pretty close to. Oh, the other way. Oh, got to uh, slow it down a little bit. There we go. All right, so that's that's looking straight at you there. So you can sort of see the primary mirrors in the back, and that's a mirror, of course. It's curved, it's con concave like like that, right? And then this is the secondary mirror, and that's up front. Kind of hard to see it that way. Let me hope it up a little bit. 
There we go. Okay, so there's a big mirror in the back, right? You see that. And then here, here's the secondary mirror. And the secondary mirror is actually con convex, right? It's like that. And then that reflects the light whoop, down to the focus, which is where we get it over here. You see that? Yeah, you can sort of see that. So this is where, right here, is where I would either put my eyepiece, if I were to be looking, right? I just stick it on here. I can do that. Get a little cover on here. I like to keep the covers on, on things to keep the dust out. Living in the desert, there's a lot of dust. So this just sort of attaches on here. Right? Just like that. And then you look through the eyepiece, right? Or if I was using my um, CCD camera, that would just go on there pretty much the same, the same way. So put the dust caps back on. So the idea with this Badenoff mask, let me uh, tilt this back down. And this is something that I sort of have to work out a little bit. I, uh, hopefully, hopefully this is going to work okay. So I'll tilt this down again. Sort of see the mirror back there. You can see a reflection of my books up here. So you can see my hand up here. So anyway, so the idea is is that the Badenoff mask just sort of goes goes over it like that. And as you can see, it's it doesn't it doesn't quite it's not a tight fit, right? So I'm not exactly sure if that's how it's supposed to be, or maybe it's just a little, I don't know, a little wrong, I don't know. But I think I can make this work because, uh, you know, one of the best friends of both amateur astronomers and professional astronomers, uh, it, it, it sort of spreads the the gamut, right? Spreads the gamut is tape. It's tape. Now, specifically duct tape, right? But in this case, I'm probably not going to use duct tape. I'm just going to use, um, uh, you know, some other kind of tape, you know, maybe like um, painter's tape or something like that. And just sort of, you know, put a piece of tape here, piece of tape down, down here, Get it centered, and then tape it down, right? So, what that'll do is that that will, um, when I look at a bright star, it'll create a particular pattern, right? And um, um, depending on whether I'm um, uh, on one side of the focus or on the other side of the focus or in focus. Um, I'll be able to see that pattern. And so, I mean, really, in a matter of, of seconds, right, I should be able to focus this, this scope. Um, what I'm having to do now, right, is look at a bright star and um, run my camera and sort of keep an eye on the maximum um, pixel value, or the brightest pixel value. And when I sort of see that I've reached a maximum, that probably means I'm in um, focus. But who who knows, right? This this will um, definitely allow me to get closer. And the thing about this is too is that um, when I switch filters, right? When I go to a filter. Um, uh, each time I do that, um, the focus slightly changes. So, you know, and so what I would have to do, right, is if I wanted to go from 
um, uh, like a red filter to a green, I would have to, you know, switch the filters, which is easy. But then I would have to diddle with the focus, um, which, which, you know, can take a substantial amount of time, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes, you know, because you got to, well, um, I want to be uh, as exactly focused I, um, um, as exactly um, focused as I can be. So, uh, there we go. We can sort of get a good, good shot of that mask there. You can sort of see that it's uh, it's quite it's quite fit in there. You see that a little bit of wiggle. So, as I said, I think what I'll probably do um, is. Uh, just sort of see if I can tape it in place. Um, I'll get it as close as I possibly can, which which isn't going to be too hard. And in fact, you know, what I can probably do too is sort of, you know, on on the bottom here, I might be able to build up a little bit, you know, put something down here. So this just sort of rests on that and that'll keep it um, centered, right? I can put something over here and something over here, and then it'll um, sort of sit on those two things and be pretty centered. As I said, too, this thing, uh, this thing is plastic, right? So let me try to get it out of here. So it's, it's a little warped here. Look. If you were have to get like a five star rating, what would you rate it as? Um, at 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 this point, I'm I'm pretty happy. I would say I would say at at least a four. Um, if if it um if it works, and it's easy and it's fast, um, and it looks like it's gonna be be both, then then yeah, I mean. This is going to be worth every penny, even though it's a ten cent um, 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 piece of plastic, right? It'll be worth um, um, the twenty six bucks because it it is doing the job that you know would normally take me you know ten or fifteen minutes or longer. This should take me literally like seconds, right? I mean, at most a minute. Or so so um, definitely worth it for sure so I just have to you know play with it a little bit and uh, see see how that's um, um, gonna work but yeah these things as far as I know work work really really well so uh, so yeah now I just need a clear sky so, uh, so yeah there it is bad enough it's B B B A H T I N O V Badanov mask. So there it is. There it is. So yay! It was uh, it was sort of stuffed into my bill box, you know, really stuffed in there, uh, you know, jammed in there. <laughs> so you know, I'm like, oh man, okay. It looks like the mail carrier wants to make sure that nobody takes it this time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, usually, you know, if there's a package that's um, not going to fit in the mailbox, they're nice enough um, um, to actually bring it to the house, which which is uh, not not really a long a long drive, but but you know, it's sort of um, um, way out of their way. Uh, but this this you know sort of um, um, fit in there. See, I thought that this was metal, right? So when I noticed it was jammed in there, it's like, oh man, you know, he bent it. <laughs> but, you know, it's like, eh, you know, I can bend this, no problem. So, and that's another thing that I'm, I'm a little, 
bit concerned about is you know because it's a little tiny bit warped um, it doesn't it doesn't really sit flat on on here and I, I I'm just gonna have to experiment to see uh, you know what kind of effect that that has it's probably not going to make a huge huge deal now I mean if it was like seriously warped you know like warped in half or something then you know that'd be a problem but but no you know this is uh there's some writing on this what does it say yeah you say that you get cloudy conditions right now right i've i've got raindrops falling on my head yeah so yeah and you know that's typical um um for this time of year actually um all the observatories around here close between um like the first part of july and um, um, mid-August um, um, to September. It's when they do all their um, maintenance, right? Um, if they have to recoat mirrors, if they have to mess with instrumentation, um, um, they do a lot of maintenance and um, upgrades and all of that. So, um, you know, typical weather here, no problem at all, but Soon, um, soon again, it'll be clear, and uh, I will be able to try this out. So yeah, pretty cool. Glad, um, glad to uh, be be adding that to the to the arsenal of of tools. It will definitely it'll definitely be a handy handy tool if it. Uh, if it works, which I expect it to, I expect it. it's a pretty simple, a pretty simple thing. So I'm going to put the cover back on this bad boy. Try to do it one-handed here. Putting this cover on is sometimes a major chore. Oh, there it worked! Wow. Single-handed. <laughs> All right, well, cool. So cheers. Cheers to the Badenoff mask. I'm, uh, I'm going to hang it up here on my bookshelf so it's always easily accessible. What's that, Bobby? Don't forget it now. No, it's, 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 it's um, right there. And even if I do um, forget it, Okay, one of the first things that I always do, right, um, right after I take my um, calibration data um, and go for my first target is I focus, right? You got to focus first. And so even if I um, um, forget that, uh, there we go. Um, I'll be like, oh yeah, 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 the mask, the mask. So, mm -hmm. so cheers. So I, uh, I noticed that um, Neil deGrasse Tyson was on um, Joe Rogan the other day, and uh, and so you know I, I, uh, I've never really liked. Um, um, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He uh, he's he, he's always um, sort of come off as a as a you know a sort of a goof, right? I mean, a really 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 smart guy. I mean, he knows his stuff, but his his means of communication, I've I've just never really really liked all that much. Um, and and uh, but you know, I always like to give you know, people lots of chances and everything else. And so it's like, okay, you know, he's on Rogan. I'll give him a chance, right? And I got to say, for the first, first half hour or so, he was actually doing really, really well. I'm getting some feedback, Bobby, so I'm going to mute you. There we go. Um so, so uh, uh, for the first 
um, 30 minutes or so, he was, he was doing really, really well, right? And then he started um, with sort of his normal, uh, I don't even know how, how to describe it. He starts, um, uh, um, okay, yeah, I, uh, I forgot the uh, H in Badenov. Thank you, Uncle Bill. Um, uh, so you know, he starts on this thing where where uh, you know he basically you know just sort of turns into like a little clown and starts you know just just um, laying on you know um, sort of like you know he's going to show everybody how much he knows and you know that's just sort of a turnoff um, for me. Um, you know, I know that he's trying, you know, to communicate science and all of that, but uh, yeah, I've j I've just never liked um, the approach he's done, and and uh, this this is the same um, same old thing. Um, nevertheless, you know, check it out if you want to, um, and and uh, uh, you know, lots and lots and lots of people like him, and and. Uh, so you know, I mean, he's he's doing um, something right, but but for me, um, you know, being an astronomer, um, uh, uh, he's he's kind of an embarrassment. Um, you know, it's like you know, you know, he's an astronomer, and. Um, 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 so am I, and so you know we're we're on the same the same boat, and it's like, oh man, yeah, uh, a little embarrassing, a little embarrassing. So, uh, but yeah, you know, um, I posted the link over over on the Discord, so uh, you know, make sure to um, um, give that a listen um, for sure. And it's a long one too. It's it's like three and a half hours long. So so uh, yeah, you know he just he just goes on and on and on and on and on. And uh, yeah, I, um, as I said, he I I just I don't I don't like his um, delivery all that much. It it's um, sort of a turn off. Um, and for me as an astronomer, it's it's sort of an embarrassment. It's like you know. That's that's what people are going to think, you know. Um, most astronomers are like, and uh, they they are most definitely not, for for sure. So anyway, cheers to astronomy. All right, cool. Hopefully, Bobby left the panel just maybe to work on some things hopefully he'll be he'll be back uh let's see so yeah um uncle bill um posted a uh um a link over over on the discord too about about uh tom tom um, pickett Is it tom pickett yeah yeah and uh you know Uncle Bill, I, I that that name, Tom Pickett, rings a bell. Um, I think I've um, been aware of him for quite a while. Um, never really followed him all that all that much. Um, you know, I knew you know that he did um, um, the astrophotography thing and uh, was really really good, right? But that's about as far as I ever went. And uh, you're you're uh, um, posting a link to you know his story about about you know his rig um, getting getting stolen, which which is you know that's I I guess I'd like to understand you know, the circumstances there a little bit more. Uh, looks like Bobby is back. Yay! You're back. You left us. Glad to have you back, Bobby. 
All right, well, cool. So, so yeah, you know, as I said, I'd sort of like, like to understand the circumstances of that theft a little bit more because it's like, you know, wow, how do you, how do you, how do you steal a telescope? Yeah, that's uh, pretty amazing. Pretty, pretty amazing. So, so, uh, but I guess it happened. So, so, uh, uh, but um, it sort of looks like, you know, out of all this, he's, he's going to uh, come out of this, you know, maybe with some um, new equipment, um, maybe even, you know, some better equipment. So I think he had like a Takahashi, though, which is a, a very, very high-end um, telescope. Those are, those are some of the best. Um, and so, uh, man, that, that, that must have been uh, really, really hard uh because it's like wow you know not having that um you know just just the expense alone is is like wow but then you know you realize the quality is is just is just gone right so uh yeah that must have been really really rough and i guess you know, the cops said you know keep this quiet while we investigate, and it had been um, um, several months, and and uh, uh, and so uh, you know he finally came out and said, "It's like, hey, you know, my rig rig got um, ripped off, and uh, yeah, okay, well, you know, if if people are trying trying to feed a you know, some kind of drug habit, um, you know, they got to come up with the bucks somehow. And for sure, uh, well, somebody probably got a really, really, really good deal on a Takahashi. <laughs> but, uh, you know, maybe they'll be able to find it, right? Um, um, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, and then, you know, maybe they can work out um, some kind of a deal, but, but, uh, okay. So yeah, 300 pounds. Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's a monumental effort, but, um, you know, it's an absolute fact that, you know, rigs like that, uh, can catch a pretty good price that, that can keep, you know, keep the habit going for, uh, uh, a substantial amount of time so uh you know uh yeah yeah anyway so so uh you know there's sort of been a rally uh he's gotten a lot of um, um donations in fact i even thought i even thought of throwing him a couple of bucks um and and uh it looks like um dustin from um uh from uh, um, from um, um, Oceanside um, Telescopes, this is the same outfit that that has been working with um, Fraser to set up that um, um, telescope um, that they used over on Skylius's channel the other day. Um, I guess I guess um, Dustin is like, dude. I'm gonna set you up. So uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I think uh, it sort of sounds like um, um, Tim is looking forward to seeing uh, what um, Dustin has in mind, and so am I. You know, it's uh, that's uh, extremely cool. And um, you know, I mean, look, that 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 kind of PR is 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 worth is worth uh, you know, 10 telescopes, right? Because, you know, I mean, if he helps Tim, Tim out, Tim, Tom, Tom, um, if he helps, um, Tim out, Tom out, um, gives him a telescope, you know, gives him a whole new rig, right? That, that one is extremely generous and extremely awesome. Um, 
for no other reason at all, right? But on top of that, in terms of business, right? Um, in terms of business, it's awesome, awesome um, PR. Uh, yeah, I had a little bit of technical transgression that uh, caused that caused every game to go south, so I had to reboot. Oh, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. All right, well, cool. I'm still getting um, some, some feedback, so I'm just going to go ahead and mute you. But, of course, feel free to come on anytime you want, and hopefully all the gremlins are gone. You know, those gremlins, you know, they like to get in there and <laughs> and and uh, um, mess with things. So uh, hopefully the computer gremlins are gone, gone. But what I sort of thought that we could do um, is um, go over to Tom's um, YouTube channel and just sort of look at some of the videos that he's he's made, some of the pictures that he's he's done, and um, like I said, you know. This live stream isn't isn't um, really me, um, you know, trying to teach you anything or communicate or anything. What I'm doing is I'm sharing a passion, right? So when I find interesting things, I just like to share them, right? So let's go over to Tom's um, YouTube site and um, take a look. It doesn't, I mean, you know, um, when you look at the dates here, it's it's obvious, right, that, that he hasn't posted anything recently, right? Six months ago um, was sort of the latest that that he'd he'd uh, he'd uh, done anything. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's take a look. I um, so here's. At least this looks like the scope that he Hi, was using. My... Well, I'm going to go ahead and mute that. I'm just going to show it. I'm not going to... I, You know, I don't know if I can... I don't think you can hear the audio. Can you? I can hear it barely. I'm going to do just polar line the scope. Show you a few features that I have here. I've got this nice wide three inch dew heater, you know, that keeps my it keeps my lens from getting fogged up from the dew. Got a okay. nice little pointer that helps Yeah. I'll just mute this and we can just sort of look at it here. But you know, he's talking over this of course. But uh yeah, so here's here's sort of his his rig. Now, out of curiosity, is your is Fedora's using post audio or also? Um, I would have to look at which one it's doing. Not quite sure. Not because quite sure. there is a way that you can like have the sound coming from the speakers and then having your mic on at the same time and stuff. I would like to be able to do that. Uh, you know, I mean, I've, I've, I've always wanted, you know, to have some background um, um, music on this live stream anyway. So uh, maybe in the post show, uh, if, um, if you want to give me a hand with that, that'd be um, great if you have a little bit of time. But yeah, what a beautiful rig. Yeah, it, it, it's a it's a command line thing as well. Okay. So we'll take a look at that. So um, uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, I think. Am I going back? Or am I not? There we go. So it looks like he looked at the solar eclipse. That's pretty cool. Um. Of course, he's got a kitty video. Okay, so here's some here's some shots from like three years ago. Oh, he's got um, Lovejoy, at least one of the Lovejoys. But here, yeah, let's uh, let's look at some 
Let's look at some pictures of his. Let's see what he's got here. Okay, so far so good. Okay. I don't see any yet. There we go. It's a sky full of clouds. Uh, what star is that? Huh. Now, um, out of curiosity, you use Team Builder? Um, I don't use it here, no. I've used it in the past, right. though. I'm trying to figure check out which... Check the chat. Oh, check the chat. All right. I'm going to have to uh, get out of that and check the chat this way. Check the chat, check the chat. Read the chat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey there, Tom. Nice to see you in the chat. Just heard about your uh, misfortune and um, fortune here. And uh, so, yeah, very, very cool. We're looking at your um, YouTube um, channel. Hope that's okay. But... Uh, just wanted to check your shots out and um, notice that you haven't um, posted anything recently, but now that all makes sense. Yeah, I haven't been doing that much on my channel as well. Yeah, there's a couple of stars there, I would say. Just a couple. Nice. There's um, a Cygnus here, North America, Nebula. Uh, here's Vega up here, I think. I think so. Mm. So, yeah, that's very, very awesome. That's the entire... Milky Way. Is that? I guess that's Deneb, I think. Maybe I'm completely off here. That's looking more towards, I think, the center of the galaxy. I think this is M8, M20. Here's um, Scorpius here, and that's probably some planet. Oh, I'm not recognizing that field at all. That's got to be a planet here too, huh? That's probably Antares and M4, yeah? Great nebula shots. Oh yeah, yeah. There's, there's the head of um, Scorpius coming down that away. There's M4. There we go. There's Scorpius here. Here's Antares again. Here's M4. Sagittarius is over here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Thanks. <laughs> These are pretty long exposures, too, I would imagine. Nice. Lagoon um, Nebula, Trifid Nebula here. Fantastic. Tom, I hope this is okay to show this. Hey, 
Yeah, sweet. Let's see here. I'm going to pause this because right here is the um, dumbbell nebula. Right here, do you see that, that, that little dot right there? And M71 is... M71 is around here somewhere. Can't say as I see it, though. Can't say as I see it. The um, ring nebula is over here, but it's being it's being blocked. We can go back a little bit. Look at my new one, the universe merging the infamous YouTube HD. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, so here's Vega. Yeah, the ring nebula is in here somewhere. Somewhere in here. And like I said, yeah, here's the dumbbell right right there, that, that little dot right there. Um, Deneb up here, North American um, nebula. Um, Alberio. Ooh, Alberio's hidden away in the Milky Way. Maybe that one right there? Something. Something like that. Is Tom uh, saying something in the chat that I need to... Uh... Okay. Oh, all right. Let's, let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. You're talking about this one, huh? Thanks, Tom. Really, really appreciate you. You letting us look at this. I mean, frankly, I was going to anyway, but uh, it's nice to have um, permission too. So, up oh, here, let me uh, let me check check the chat. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, and actually, I'm I'm not on a laptop anymore. Uh, I've I've uh, not a huge um, upgrade, but this is my um, Linux machine running um, Fedora twenty twenty four still. Oh, cool. Let's just uh, take a look at this full full screen. In my uh, um, internet isn't all that great, so we're not going to get like full HD, but uh, it's gorgeous. That's the North American Nebula, yeah? What, uh, well, yeah, I could, uh, I could ask all kinds of things about this. What some um, filters are being used and all that. I'm sort of seeing a um, 3D effect here, here too. That's uh, that's kind of interesting. Some uh, artistic rendering there. The uh, the shapes of the stars are kind of interesting too. Sweet. So, yeah, some you've got some kind of uh, video editing thing here where we're sort of seeing sort of a 3D effect, which uh, uh, is is uh, pretty cool. And nice. Topic ticket, I just subbed up to you. Yep. So did I. Yeah, I subbed. I subbed um, right before I started the live stream. So Tom, I do this um, um, each day. I do a live stream at um, two hours UTC, and it's just a casual, fun um, get together of friends, um, and um, for about an hour or so, we we just. Forget about everything else um, and talk um, um, all things astronomical. So, uh, you know, I'm, 
uh, I'm just here you know, to share a passion. So, you know, I'm not here, you know, to teach anybody anything or to communicate anything at all. Um, I just... I just love astronomy. Um, I've been doing astronomy um, my entire life. Um, 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 Dr. Yeah. Bell was telling you that it's better if you have two monitors so you can have your feed in the chat at the same time. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping. I'm hoping to actually switch uh, over to uh, to using. Um, um, OBS, uh, maybe sometime soon, uh, because with that, I'll be able to put you know all kinds of windows up on the same same display and everything else. So that's the Veil um, Nebula, supernova remnant. Long ago, long long ago. Pretty nice. So I'm gonna. Fast forward here a little bit. We're going to go to the Horsehead Nebula. And actually, this this guy over here is what? NGC 2024? And this star here is the, is the, is the eastern star in the belt of Orion. This bright guy here. Oh, yeah. Pretty nice, pretty nice horse head there. Let's see what else we got. Of course, here's Orion, M42. Nice. You just barely see the trapezium down here. There's sort of four stars right next to one another. That's a nice wide field view of um, M42 and um, M43. Lots of stars being being born in this nebula. And of course this forms sort of the sword of Orion just below the uh, just below the belt. Gorgeous. Nice detail. Nice, nice, nice. Now, Uncle Bill was saying your monitors and screens. He runs a second monitor even on my laptop when I'm home. One screen craps his style. <laughs> yeah. Well, Uncle Bill's a ninja, so you know, he's like uh I I found like if he if you use your smartphone to monitor your feed, mm -hmm. why don't you just try to use it to monitor your chat as well, like I'm doing. Um I probably could. I'll have to work on that a little bit. Let's see. This looks like the Rosette Nebula coming up here. Maybe. Is that the Rosette? Yeah. Yeah. That's the Rosette Nebula. So, um, um, Uncle Bill was saying that um, Jacobini Zinner might be going through or or near the rosette uh, towards the end um, towards the end of September. Good photo op for sure. Nice, nice details. So here's the. I think this is the um, California Nebula over here. Is that what that is? Yeah. I didn't realize that the California was so close to the Pleiades. Hmm. Did I know that? I don't remember. It's a good shot of the Pleiades there. Well, let's take a look at that. Again, nice, nice color, nice detail. Subaru. Well, 
most of these are pretty young young stars just just sort of just been born I think they're like 10 million years old or something like that so just just babies So that looks like some kind of dark nebula. You can sort of see that there's all this stuff blocking the stars behind it. All right, next it looks like we've got the Andromeda Galaxy. Cool. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This looks like M33 is next. I think that's M33. I also use the Renix Virtual Workspace feature to multiply my two monitors across four workspaces. Uncle, Uncle Bill. Yeah, Uncle Bill is 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 a, a major, major ninja. <laughs> now, Uncle Bill, I forgot, you, do you use Ubuntu or Fedora XFCE or Debian XFCE? That's pretty sweet. Okay, so we're looking towards the center of the galaxy again. Here's the lagoon um, Triffid again. There's a cluster down here, cluster up here. I forget what these all are. Okay. A lot of these are Meze objects. Oh, yeah. Here's a close-up of the Triffid, it looks like. Yeah, nice. Oh. Yeah, I'm still on 1604 too, Uncle Bill. This is the um, Eagle Nebula over here, I think. What else we got? There's a nice globular. Uh, I don't know if I recognize that one. Could be M13, but I'm thinking that it's not M13. Maybe, maybe um, 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 Omega Centauri. Maybe if you're in Texas, Tom, you can probably see Omega, just like I can. I'm I'm in southeastern Arizona, so we're we're almost almost neighbors. So there's the Helix Nebula, pretty sweet. Nice color. You can see the central star there, too. That is what's left of this star. Sort of puffed out all of its, all of its uh, outer layers and is just left a little bit behind. Yeah, so there's a, a nice zoomed in view there. Nice detail. A nice wide field of Ursa Major. That looks like, um, oh, what are those guys called? Uh, that's, that's, uh, That's the um, visual binary in the handle of the Dipper. Uh, oh, why can't I remember those? Thomas, I think Thomas is in Texas. We'll move to Arizona soon. You moving to Arizona? Cool. Cool. Approximately where, Tom? And Mizar. Let me look. Look here at the chat. Right, Mizar. 
Alcor Bye. and Mizar. Cool. Mizar by Williams, I think. Williams, Arizona? Oh, I don't know where where Williams, Arizona is. Not familiar with that. Somewhere dark, I hope. I'm I'm uh um um deliberately in 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 a very 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 dark place. Williams, Arizona. Okay, I'll have to uh, not too familiar with that. Is it near Tucson or near um, Phoenix or approximately where is that? Twenty miles west of Flagstaff. Ooh, okay, sweet. That that's going to be nice and dark. Yeah, it's going to be nice and dark. It's going to be cold up there, though. It's going to be pretty cold. <laughs> Right, cool. Let's uh, let's keep plowing through this here. Oh. Thank you, Uncle Bill, for the correction. Mizar and Alcor. Yeah, those are those two stars in the handle of the Dipper. Oh, okay, here's some galaxies. I'm always glad to see galaxies. M81, M82. That's up, up near the Big Dipper, also. It's nice, you know, because these these guys are relatively close, so you can usually see them, um, sort of in the same same field of view. Here's um, um M51, the Whirlpool galaxy, and this galaxy is actually uh, I don't know if they're merging, but they're um, they're definitely um, 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 interacting. All this, all this stuff being being blown around. Interesting choice of colors, Tom. I think that's M M one hundred and one. Is that the Pinwheel Galaxy? I think that's also up in um, um, Ursa Major. And see a couple other galaxies here too. Uh, that looks like an elliptical galaxy, maybe. Maybe that one too. That one up here. Cool. Sweet. So you got the uh, Owl Nebula M97 and um, um, M108. M97 was actually our object of the day the other the other day a couple days ago ah i'm a sucker for galaxies tom i love galaxies i'm not familiar with that one nice details though Lots, lots of stuff going on here. You can see sort of a central bar here, and then the spiral arms coming off of that. I, I think like Uncle Bill was saying, the the previous one was the uh, surfboard. The surfboard, <laughs> cool. Yeah. I think this is called um, Centaurus A which is a sort of uh, a weird galaxy, right? Um, it's sort of an elliptical, but it's got this, this big dark band of gas and dust going through it. Oh, cool. So here's, uh, I forget which one is which. One of these is um, Messier 65. Another one is um, 66. And then this is an NGC object. Um, Charles Messier actually, I guess, missed this one. Um, so these are kind of cool to see, too. They're over in Leo. Pretty easy to find. Nice and bright. Yeah, not too familiar. Cool. 
not too familiar with that one either. It's probably a Messier of, of some sort. Oh, I think you got... Okay, so this is um, NGC 891. This is one of my favorite ones. I like the edge on ones for sure. There's a nice cluster. Is this uh, is this part of Virgo? Hmm. Could be. And you uh, have a like a little screen watch. I'm seeing oh, like just the audio, but your icon is showing and stuff. On your on check your feed. Oh yeah, I see that. Huh. I wonder what. Uh, huh. I wonder what happened. It's. Uh, yeah, you me, lost the video. They're saying. Yeah, I did. Okay. Let me. Uh, let me see if I can. Uh, we're past um, time anyway, so maybe I'll uh, pop back over here and see if see if it comes back. I'm probably using way too much bandwidth. Uh, let's see if it comes back. Yep, I'm back. All right, yeah. I think I was using way too much um, bandwidth there, right? I was I was um, playing playing Tom's um, video um, um, coming my way and then um, sending it um, um, back out. And you know, one of the one of the perils, I guess, of being out out here um, rural is that um, um, many many times um, 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 the internet isn't isn't all that great so so uh, but as I say you know we're really um, casual and fun here so you know things like that uh, oh well but yeah Tom so so uh, yeah well thanks for coming on now uh, that is very very awesome <laughs> And and uh, yeah, definitely, um, 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 definitely enjoyed uh, seeing all those shots and and um, um, uh, hopefully, hopefully, I mean, your scope, I mean, it's it's got to be somewhere, right? I mean, it's got to be somewhere, but you know, there aren't any leads or anything at all, so ah, that's that's awful but um it sort of looks like um 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 dustin is going to um set you up um maybe maybe with um something else but uh oh man a takahashi i uh you can see my my scope here it's just a um celestron um next star 8se and uh, I actually do science with this thing, so so uh, yeah, I'm um, doing more of the scientific work than 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 um, 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 pretty much anything else. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's that's really uh, I don't, you know I think your story is the first that I've ever heard of any kind of of theft. Um, Maybe it happens a lot, but uh, I think yours is the first time um, um, that I've ever heard of anything um, like that. Um, and I guess, you know, quite a bit of equipment, right? Several hundred pounds. So, I mean, no, no small effort, right, to um, grab that stuff. So, yeah, yeah. But, uh, well, you know... Yeah, that just really, really sucks. There's nothing else to say about that. So cheers to telescopes. And I think with that, we are definitely past past our our hour here. So I think I'm gonna let you all go for today. So you know, thanks for coming in. Um, we will do this again tomorrow, same time same place it's just it's just one one spin of this planet just one way around one way around and we'll be back here again um two hours utc 
make sure um, you know to spread the word. Um, I'm trying to find find my people, right? I'm not really trying to cast a net, um, you know, and catch people or anything. I'm I'm trying to harpoon, right? It's like there's one right there, right? Um, so yeah, um, I'm doing this every don't single day. If you are yet to subscribe to Thomas Beckett. Like I just did, subscribe to him as well. Absolutely, absolutely. And Tom, yeah, um, looking forward to more um, pictures, more um, videos, all of that. Um, definitely will um, follow your story and um, spread it around a little bit. Um, you know, um, 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 pretty much as much as I can, which isn't much, you know, but it's a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. And um, very, very awesome um, that you came in. Um, thanks to Uncle Bill for that. Um, Uncle Bill, you're, you're awesome. <laughs> you're just great. All right, you guys, I'm going to get out of here for now. So have a great evening and a great day. And as I said, I will see you on the spin. See you all later. Bye. Later.